Hey guys, so I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I think the last video I did was back in July. I've just been busy with school and work, so I've been out of the picture for a while, but I'm back and I've decided to do a Halloween look today. And this is kind of like a vampire um, chic kind of look. And it's pretty simple to do. It's not that many steps. Um, well, if you, if you don't count the eyelashes. Um, if you want to request any more Halloween looks, just send me a message. But if you want to learn how to do this one, just keep watching. Alright, so the first step is moisturizing your face. And I'm using Moisture Lush Cream by MAC. And I'm just going to take that with um, my 187 brush. Since it's mine, I'm just going to dip it in here. Now I'm going to use some MAC Select uh, Moisture Cover in NW20 for my under eye circles. And just blend it in with my finger. And now I'm going in with my mineralized foundation. I'm not going to put too much because I'm going to apply Studio Fix powder over this. And now I'm going to take my Studio Fix powder and this is NC25. And it comes with a sponge inside but I'm just going to use my MAC 150 brush. It's better to kind of balance the brush on your skin rather than just brushing it on. Unless you want um, a sheer coverage then that's fine. But this is the only way you'll really get a good layer. And I still feel like I have under eye circles. I mean, the concealer worked, but I just feel like it's not covered enough. Um, I have a trick. What I do is I take my Studio Fix powder that I use all over my face, and with, with a flat paddle brush like this, you can use any brush really. Um, I'm just grabbing some and going over the concealer that I put on, and that way it makes it the same color as the rest of your face. So I'm just patting it on there. See, you can kind of tell that it's covered. So if you have a powder from MAC or whatever foundation powder that you use, um, put it over your under concealer. And that way, it'll match the rest of your face and it won't look like you have any under eye circles. But be careful to not put too much powder because it might cake up the concealer depending on what you use. Um, it's always best to wait until it's completely dry to put it over it. So I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows and applied an eyeshadow base and I used a Painterly Paint Pot. The thing I'm going to do is apply a light colored eyeshadow and I'm using Vanilla, which is this color right here. I don't know if you can really see it. It's not exactly matte, but um, it doesn't come off as a frost or anything, but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm applying that all over, up to my eyebrow, using a 227 brush. I'm going to be taking a medium brown color, um, this is called soft brown, and I'm going to be using a 226 brush. And I'm going to apply this um, in my crease. Just kind of brush it back and forth and upwards to blend that in. And this is not going to put down a lot of color, which is um, the idea. You just want to kind of define your crease a little bit more. It always helps to keep your eyes open so you can definitely um, see where your crease is or where you have to create a crease if you don't have one. And then the next color I'm going to be taking is Sketch and it's this um, plum color and I'm going to be using a 226 brush I'm going to apply that right in the outer corner kind of following the shape of my eye and then blending inwards now um, once I apply that it's not exactly as blended as I want it to be. So I'm going to go back with that soft brown color and the brush that I used with it before and then just go right over it. I like this for an everyday look um, but what I'm going to do is just turn it up a notch and add some carbon which is this matte black um, eyeshadow right in the corner right here. With the same brush, you don't have to change brushes. Um, I'm going to add that right in the deep crease. 
right where I applied um, the sketch, but not exactly covering all of it. So you want to just, just gently brush it on. Make sure you get the shape that you want. So now I'm going to take some sketch and put some on my lower lash line with my 219 brush. And then with some carbon, I'm just going to pass on the outer edges of my lower lash line. Lower water line, I'm going to apply some Smolder Eichel pencil. Area. And with some more sketch, I'm just going to help blend that eyeliner in. That way um, it doesn't smudge too much. Alright, I'm going to apply some black track food line. And I'm just going to be using a disposable eyeliner brush. Um, overdid the eyeliner for a reason. Um, I just want it to be a very dark, um, smoldery look. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Alright, and now I'm going to apply some eyelashes and I'm using um, Max number 7s. You can leave it like this, um, but I'm actually going to apply the same lashes on the bottom and that's going to just create a more dramatic effect and it's going to really open up your eyes. Alright, so you basically have to like push your lashes up and put these underneath. So once the glue is dried a bit, I'm just going to place them underneath my lashes. So now with my smolder, I'm going to cover up that space, just go over it. So that's it for the eyes, um, I know they're pretty scary right now, but now I'm just going to work on the face. This, color, this blush called a moat with an angled brush, I'm kind of carve in my cheekbones. I'm not using any blush today because I don't want to have any um, color to my cheeks. For my lips, I'm going to be using this very deep, um, kind of like plum black color. Um, and it's going to go really nicely with the eyes because I use a little bit of sketch, which is kind of like a burgundy plum um, eyeshadow, but it's kind of subtle, so it's going to bring that out more. So I'm going to apply that. Once that's on, I'm actually going to apply this Dazzle Glass over, and this is called Fantabulous. And it's going to give it a really cool effect because it has purple and pink glitter in it. Alright, so the look is completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is a great look for Halloween, like I said before. And it's pretty simple. It's not that many steps. Um, but I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any requests on any looks for Halloween that you'd like me to do for you, just send me a message in my inbox or leave me a comment below. I hope to talk to you all soon. Bye!